Do you think you're going to do things differently moving forward? Or do you just want to get back to 2019 as soon as possible? Well, there's no question. We want to get back to having meals as soon as possible. Uh, so there's, you know, there's this word in Acts 2, it's, and, and the breaking of bread, which obviously means communion. And so we want to have communion, whether that's in your families or in your home groups or in our large church. But we also feel like there's something valuable and really important about sharing meals. And that's why we do it. It costs money. We put our budget towards it. Uh, and so we definitely want to get back to that. But there are some things that I don't think the Lord wants us to get back to. Uh, the Lord wants to move his people. He, he allows things or he does things for two main reasons, I think. Um, for his glory would be number one. And so whether he allowed COVID or he allowed the racial, however you see that happening, uh, it, it's for his glory. And the other is it's for our growth. And so I don't think any part of 2020 the Lord wants to waste and for us to go, oh, we're just going to backpedal to that. And so we're really, as, as we look forward to, to 2021, we're looking forward to, okay, how can we grow and how can we give him glory from the things that we experienced? Mm -hmm. And so I don't want to get back uh, to the way things were. There's some things that we want to continue, <laughs> you know, that we want to do, but we want to do them um, in a more glorifying way, in a, it, where we're, we've matured with one another. Um, I think, you know, you talk about uh, being able to have those conversations with one another. I think it would be great if we could have difficult conversations that's par for the course and, and do that in um, a mature um, Christian, I love you sort of a way. And even if we disagree on major political, racial um, medical issues to be able to, to love one another as we leave that conversation. Um, I think probably one of the things that we've learned is that's not going to happen on any social media <laughs> platform, but it is going to happen in ecclesia. Mm. It's going to happen in church. It's going to happen in fellowship. And I think as I look forward, that's going to be something that as the world sees the difficulty and the mess and the muck that is out there, they're going to go, where can I really get authentic relationships with one another? And I hope that's the church. Well, you know, if people could see the church as being a group of peacemakers, yes. they might consider us to be children of God. <laughs> I would say that's scriptural. Yeah, I think it is. It's <laughs> somewhere in there around Matthew, Matthew. 5, yeah. <laughs> Jesus' own, it's in red. It is it's, in yeah, red. Yeah, it's in red.